All right, we're back this week playing another round of HGTV's House Hunters Celebrity Edition. This week featuring a very diverse crew. We have a musician, an actress, an athlete, and a pizza mogul. We have Joe Jonas, Sophie Turner, MLB outfielder Gary Matthews Jr., and business tycoon Larry Flax. Over $85 million worth of real estate we're about to review. And then I've got to decide whose house I'll be buying as is, where is. No changes. So let's get to it. Let's play House Hunters Celebrity Edition. Here we go. First up, we have the home of recently separated superstar couple, Sophie Turner and Joe Jonas. This six bedroom, eight and a half bathroom, 10,000 square foot, $15 million Miami, Florida home. Located in the ultra exclusive guarded and gated community of Bay Point, this waterfront architectural masterpiece sits on a 16,000 square foot lot and is reminiscent of Frank Lloyd Wright's legendary creations with 30 foot high ceilings, walls of stone and lush tropical entry planters, complete with a floating staircase, this estate is an artist's dream home featuring a 94-foot private dock with direct access to the bay and ocean, discreet staff entrance, state-of-the-art spa, billiard room, dual-sided full-service bar for indoor-outdoor serving, luxury pool and jacuzzi, as well as a separate children's pool area. This unique home is truly a private resort in an absolute dream home destination. And I wonder if the infamous ring doorbell incident happened at this house. I was looking for it, but... Uh, I didn't see it. Well, they probably have homes all across the country, so not sure about that one. Cool house though, despite the history here. Should I snag it now? Two more to go. Let's see who's up next. Next up, we have a retired MLB outfielder, Mr. Gary Matthews Jr. It's four bedroom, six bathroom, 6,000 square foot, $22 million unparalleled custom residence and sought after Newport Beach. California, offering front row vistas of Newport Harbor, Balboa Island, the Pacific Ocean, and Catalina Island, delivering the ultimate in contemporary luxury. The Lux Primary Suite opens to a heated deck that spans the width of the home and includes a built-in barbecue bar. Downstairs, a fabulous lounge and media room with a full wet bar leads to a terrace that boasts an infinity-inch pool, raised spa, and an outdoor kitchen with pro grill moments from the Newport Beach Country Club and Newport Harbor Yacht Club. So what's crazy about baseball is you can have a guy who lives in a $22 million home and I've literally never heard of him before. And I'm a, I'm a big sports fan. That's the beauty of being in the MLB. Unless you're a true superstar, you get to walk the streets unrecognized while being able to afford a home like this. Gotta love it. One more to go. Who we got next? Last up, we have a pizza tycoon, the co-founder of California Pizza Kitchen, Mr. Larry Flack, seven bedroom, 11 bathroom, 14,000 square foot, 48 and a half million dollar Beverly Hills Chateau located in the exclusive guarded gated enclave of Beverly Park. This private three acre home site offers romantic French style gardens, lavish finishes, and the finest materials such as a grand circular motor court with beautiful tiered marble fountain, an exquisite library appointed with French paneled walls, vintage hand painted Asian dining room walls, spectacular china room, glass walled entertaining area, it looks out to a reflection pond with a dramatic positioned marble statue of Apollo. The impressive limestone clad walls in the family room lead out to a 70 foot swimming pool and picturesque grounds with a glass enclosed conservatory. The estate's additional luxury amenities include a championship tennis court, housekeeping suite and detached home office. I love the grounds and the location. They also make it sound like this home has the most expensive walls in the history of homes. They keep hammering that point home Got three great options. Who should I go with? Find out next. So to recap, we have Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner's $15 million mid-century Miami escape, Gary Matthews Jr. $22 million Newport Paradise, and Larry Flax $48.5 million Beverly Hills French Chateau. And right off the bat, since I'm not allowed to make any changes, I'm going to go ahead and eliminate the Miami house. There's, there's too much I'd want to change there. It... It also kind of looks like an old office building when you walk in with all the open planner setup, you know, you know what I'm talking about? So I'm gonna go ahead and eliminate Miami for that. Now I'm left with Beverly Hills and Corona Del Mar, and I'd be crazy to pass up on those views in Newport, the house, the view, the setting, the total package. Moving to Newport, what about you guys? What do you take? Let me know. Until the next video, hit the like, subscribe. 
I'll see you down by the water. Bye.